a year in, how much of a toll is it having? Well, Kelly, a year ago I came on your air and said that the, this would be a $347 million tax on beer. Um, and I'm sorry to report a year later that that's exactly true. Uh, brewers of all sizes are facing these costs, trying to figure out how to deal with this tax. Just two examples. Miller Coors, one of the largest brewers in this country, uh, has seen a $40 million impact on their, on their company. Um, Summit Brewing Company from St. Paul, Minnesota, one of the founders of the craft movement 30 years ago, has seen its costs increase $160,000. So this is affecting brewers of all sizes. And, and when you have uh, nearly 7,000 breweries in this country, we see beer as the crown jewel of American manufacturing. This is really hurting us. So, Jim, how are they absorbing that cost? Is it coming out of profit margin, or are they passing it along to the consumer? I think, uh, you know, there are 6,000 or more uh, brewery businesses in this country, many of them putting their beer in aluminum cans and aluminum bottles, and they're, uh, they're all sort of using different strategies to figure out how to uh, deal with the cost. Some of it has been passed on to the consumer, uh, but many brewers, uh, I hear from many brewers who are telling me that they are uh, basically eating the costs. We estimated a year ago that uh, the beer industry and related industries would create 20,000 fewer jobs because of these aluminum tariffs, and we are seeing that. So they're not improving their physical plant. They're not hiring the people that uh, they thought they'd be hiring as their businesses were growing. So it's affecting beer, but it's also affecting related industries as well. So yeah. it's, uh, it's really um, uh, something we'd like to see repealed. Well, did you think it was going to be repealed by now? Are you surprised it's been a year? Uh, I'm not surprised. Uh, the, the president has, uh, has talked about the steel and aluminum tariffs for a long time uh, as, a, as a victory for America. Um, it's not a victory for beer. It's not a victory for soda makers. It's not a victory for uh, airline makers, automobile makers. Any downstream user of aluminum is being affected by this increased tax. Uh, and and uh, again, repeal, yeah. in our view, is the only way to go. Jim, final question, kind of to add insult to injury here. We just see there is a lawsuit now from Miller Coors against Anheuser-Busch over their, their shaming of them for using corn syrup. Um, but, you know, these are two big important members of the beer industry, which kind of needs to be on the same page right now. How serious is bad is this? Well, those are two big important members of the uh, beer industry in the United States and the Beer Institute. Um, uh, I'm sort of Switzerland, Kelly. Um, uh, we want to see uh, uh, the beer category grow. Uh, uh, what's happening uh, since the Super Bowl is uh, sort of an example of how fierce the competition is in beer. Um, uh, but the aluminum tariffs have affected the bottom line for brewers of all sizes, unfortunately.